Welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts. Uh, so um, I've got the car back, they've put all new discs on it, uh, they've given it a, a test. This is the form you get with the, it's called a pickle here, which is basically an MOT. So that's a new MOT on it now for another year. Um, and I've got the, the, the bill. And uh, so there is a winner. There was a few that were quite near it. But the, the gentleman that won it, um, I need you now to send me an email on davejaguar66 at gmail.com, uh, which I'll put in this uh, video anyway, um, giving me your size and your address, and then I'll send uh, uh, an email to Martin, um, uh, uh, Martin Butler at Resto Restore that does the t-shirts for me, and get him to send one out wherever, wherever you are. Um, so the actual the actual price was I can show it to you here. I hope this will come up. I'll just show you the, the bottom figure. Oh, where are we? This is the bottom figure here. And it says 1799.64. That's that figure there, like you can see it in the corner. Okay, and the nearest to that within within um, 36 cents of that was uh, Chris French and Chris uh, guessed 1800 euros so 1799.64 like I say it's 36 cents uh, of difference so he's the nearest to it so Chris if you could send me your uh, send, send me an email with your address on it and what size you want I'll, I'll get it out to you as soon as I can so yeah um, uh, so th I, I've contacted um, Alex from DJSC uh, and explained to him that there's no way I can make this um, uh, uh, this drive to the UK. I was going to leave on this on on the um, I was actually going to leave on that. I can tell you now. It it was going to be the um, on the twentieth. Yeah, it was, on, it was on the 20th of this, of, of this, of this month, the 20th of uh, November, I was going to leave, which is next Tuesday, and there's just no way I can drive across um, Europe, across Germany and everywhere in, in, the, in the condition I'm in just now. It's, I'm just too, too poorly for that. I completely underestimated having this surgery and how long it would take to, uh, to recover from it. I don't know why. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm coming up for 64. I mean, I, I just, I don't know why in my mind I thought, no, I'll, I'll get over it fairly quickly. It'll be a few days and I'll be fine. And it's still not fine. I, I'm still having, I'm not having trouble passing water, but it's still extremely painful when I start. Strangely enough, uh, once I am actually taking a leak, it's, it's, it's okay. It feels all right. And I think it's more to do with the muscles in the back of my legs and across um, and and uh, internally um, that I've been using to the stomach muscles and so on to push the urine out for years now uh, to get rid of that last little bit and I think they're kicking in uh, uh, automatically I'm, 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 I'm aware of it happening and now I'm doing it and it's squeezing on something that isn't there it's been reduced it's quite painful and I need to re for want of a better expression, I need to re-educate my, my uh, bladder or re-educate the muscles to not do that because it, when it's contracting that's when the pain is the greatest and because the muscles have nothing to because it's much half the size it was and it's, and it's smaller my muscles have nothing to push on now except it's pushing on to the, the bits that have had surgery on it which it then obviously impacts with the pain uh, but if it continues, I'll on Monday I'll go up to Vienna and see the, the specialist again, or the, the professor, the surgeon that did the work, and see if there's anything to do for the pain. Um, but I'm feeling a, a lot better than I did the, the day I put the video up. I really felt like shit. And I, I still don't feel great. I, st I still feel like, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, um, that uh, I still feel very weak and so on because the first couple of days it wasn't so bad but then but then it, it really kicked in and, and uh, yeah I, I'm older than I think the problem is with with a lot of men is 
is in our heads we think we're 25, you know, or something, and and uh, and the problem is the body just lets you down. And obviously, the older you get, it's harder to get over a, an injury, you know. Um, and I, I've always thought I've had a very strong mindset, you know, being being ex Royal Marines, doing doing the commando test, okay. I was 17 and a half when I was doing it, so I was super fit. Well, they got me super fit over a year. Um, and, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, it's a very tough course, which it is to all Marines, there's no doubt about it. It's a very it's a very tough course to get at Greenberry, then and now. I don't even have to do the 30 miler anymore. But anyway, um, the thing was, it, it, there was a lots of guys I knew in the Marines. There were 72 of us when we started, and... I believe when we finished, there was 19 of us left from the original 72. I was in 68 junior troop, and uh, I think, yeah, I think 72 of us joined in Deal, and a year later in Commander Training Centre at Limston, there was 19 of the originals finished. There was more than that because we had people back trooped and, uh, and so on, and, uh, but 19 of the originals out of 72, that's quite a dropout rate. Those broken arms, broken legs, pelvises, you name it. And I, we had guys that were super fit, you know, uh, they, they were very fit, but they didn't have the mental stamina or the mental ability either. Now that might sound a bit, uh, a bit up, you know, um, but that's that's a fact, you know. And the one thing I learned from from doing that that course, that Green Beret course, was, you know, your mind can get over uh, lots of things. You know, some this is why some people survive when they fall in water and, and some drowned. Uh, or, or car crashes or whatever it is it is definitely without a doubt it's a, it's a mind thing if you're if you're if your mind is strong it's amazing what you can do and what you can put up with the pain you can put up with but i can't do that anymore i'm too old anyway that being said congratulations to to chris um please send me that that email uh, as soon as you can and i'll and uh, i'll get it out to you because um martin had some problems <laughs> Strange enough, with his bladder too, he's been in hospital. He's had very bad uh, uh, inflammation and everything. And, and, and Martin from Restoris George just got back into, uh, or he's got back home at least as well. So he's been through the same kind of thing. It wasn't anything like prostate, but it was something similar for the bladder. Anyway, take care, guys. And I'm really sorry I won't be able to make it on the 23rd. Alex says he's talked to everybody, and I've explained to people who, who, who I knew were coming, and Alex has talked to the rest. And what we'll do is we'll do we'll postpone it till unless you guys want to meet on your own. That's not I have no issues with that. Whatever you want to do, um, but I'll postpone it to the Friday, the fourteenth of December. So I'll come over earlier, um, probably a few days earlier to do the shopping I was gonna do, and then meet up on Friday the fourteenth. If that's a date you can keep clear, I don't know. And we'll do it in the same place, um, the Broad Oak Hotel. Uh, and I believe Alex already talked to the manager or the owner or whatever, and, and he has no issues with it, so that's good news. So it'll be the, it, all being well, touch wood. Um, I should be well recovered by then because we're talking about three weeks away. So uh, as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby, and, and well done, Chris. Bye for now. Take care. Bye.